Mm. Well, I thought we'd do a follow-up to the hurricane situation here. Uh, exactly one week ago, Monday morning, we didn't have power. <laughs> yeah. And we had to go on solar because that's all I had. Uh, a lot of good comments came from the video last week. And a lot of it was uh, interesting because some of the smaller generators like 2000 watts doesn't sound very useful. But if you're recharging a power station or recharging a solar bank because of the lack of sunshine or something, actually those little buggers actually make some pretty good sense. And some of the people were claiming they were really getting some uh, amazing fuel <coughs> usage numbers. And when I talked about generators in general, because I did sell them at one time uh, many years ago, I was averaging a gallon an hour because we're looking at generators that are 6,500 watt to 10,000, you know, 10,000 watt systems that will help run the whole household. I wasn't talking about those little 2,000 watt generators, but uh, somebody pointed out how handy or a supplement to your charging system because the first thing I ran into on Monday was we had thunderstorms and rain. We didn't have good sun, shine times or whatever that we need to recharge the solar system with. So as the solar power dropped off, I was having problems because it was like, even with, I have 10 uh, power stations, but I had to swap them around. And eventually it was like, I can't even keep up with the demand. Plus I'm trying to keep my refrigerator going so I don't want to lose my food. Uh, some people shut their fridges off. I tried that once and I won't, I'll tell you what, I won't do it again. The ice maker really screwed up and made a terrible mess in there that I had to actually clean out so I could have proper ice to get out of the machine. So was that was not a good idea you know, to shut it down. Some people suggested, you know, shut the fridge down for four hours, give yourself your system a break, and then come back on it or something. And uh, by Tuesday, we had figured out, use the barn power, and I found out, you know what, we can keep the refrigerator running 24 seven, which is what we need for everything. So that, was, that took a lot of pressure off of my, uh, power stations, they were able to just be used for internet, TV, a nice fan to cool us with, you know, that sort of thing. So just basically supplemental power, oh, and computers, of course, can't go without those, and charge the cell phone, you know, all that good stuff. So the bottom line was we were able to make it, we scraped through, but it was like, it wasn't pretty, but I am, I guess, a little more prepared for next time. And we got a product in today that's part of our solar package thing. Now, this, <laughs> this is new. Uh, I think we're gonna have, I think we have even a, a coupon code for price. So it's gonna be pretty exciting to take a look at the whole thing, but let's show you what we got here. Oh yeah, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery for solar power to charge up and hold, but it's deep cycle. Yeah, when we come back. Bacteria, yes, deep cycle, lithium phosphate, lithium iron phosphate battery for a solar. Uh, this, uh, we all have to have a good laugh, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, after the storm went over and we had almost three, three and a half days without power, uh, the next morning after the power's on, the delivery truck shows up and drops off. Yeah, this. Yeah, so I was like, well, maybe the next storm. <laughs> this is on for a great price, but because it's deep cycle rated, it is, it has more interesting quality to it than just any of these other phosphate batteries. So there's a lot of things about bacteria here that make it a very interesting choice. And in fact, if you want to start your system or build a system or you have a system, but you'd like to upgrade the batteries or something, this is unbelievable. I'm looking at $205.99 after this discounts. I might even have another discount coupon after that. <gasps> wow, yeah, unbelievable price. These things are getting so great in price right now. It, it's, it's just, it's absolutely, heck, uh, the battery for my Jeep was more than this. And it was just an AGM lead acid, little, you know, crappy <clears throat> little battery from, uh, I think it was AutoZone or O'Reilly's, one of the, you know, or maybe it was Advanced Auto. I can't remember where I picked it up at, but I paid more than that for this battery here alone. Now, don't put this in your car, okay? This, this is not a car battery. But, uh, you could use it as a trolling motor. There's a few other applications, of course, that people do use these type of batteries for, but uh, they have controlled discharge, and that's where you're not a car battery where you're going to slam the starter for, you know, with 300 amps crank it up for 500 and whatever you know 
uh, lithium phosphate batteries are all about solar power and charging and keeping your charge and recharging four to six hours on this one here but this thing because it's deep cycle which sort of has more quality in the construction and build of the battery besides the BMS and all the rest of it uh, we will just quickly go over that but the main feature here to me was that it can have up to 8,000 cycles that is crazy numbers you know I was thinking 3,500 to 5,000 is pretty much average but this one here can push up to 8,000 cycles like that could last you on a system that could that battery could last you 20 years you know like, wow amazing again you know just fantastic so it has a good BMS system and the BMS system uh, protects it from over temperature under temperature it, it it's you know it protects it from overcharge uh, over over discharge it will protect the battery which is really also you know, from dead shorts which uh, you know could happen I guess uh, I don't know why somebody would do that but it have you know, yeah yeah it did happen to me at one time where I had something metal and I went to put it on the battery for a second and realized you know yeah, it's battery you know, duh you can't do that but anyways so we had a good laugh and now the next good laugh um, and this I'm gonna answer it with using this battery right here for example uh, somebody wrote in and said okay so if I have a hundred amp hour battery how many solar panels do I need I guess I understand the question but at the same time it's like okay panels come at different wattages you could buy a hundred watt panel a 50 watt panel you could buy a 400 watt panel I mentioned the 400 watt panel because that's the ones I like but the reason I like them is because you need 400 watts roughly to charge, should have 400 watts on your system per 100 amp hour battery. So now you know something, you know, like, and that's without showing you all the math and, you know, why we end up with that number. But yeah, 400 watts per battery for 100 amp hour batteries. So if you had 100 amp panels or 100 watt, if you had 100 watt solar panels, then you'd need four of those things, you know. The whole idea is that you want about a 400 watt system to help keep this fully charged and the charging time will be between four to six hours again depending on sun angle daytime efficiencies you know there's a lot of variables with uh, solar panels that's part of the headache with it because of the angles and things you have to deal with in order to try to get the most power from your system so you can recharge and keep things going bacteria sent this over and I was like I was like man amazed it was like what an awesome price and I really expected a really high price because deep cycle as I said the construction of the battery cells in here are a little bit more quality driven uh, when you're doing dealing with like a deep cycle battery so let's talk about application here a uh, house bank battery for your boat or your RV RV this is a big thing with RVs and also the trolling motor like I mentioned but my application here is solar power and what I like about these is you can buy them on budgets and add to the system and keep building it out till you get to however many batteries you think you can handle plus your solar panels of course so you can have as much power as possible and in a storm situation it's nice to have lots and lots of power let's look at the size yeah we're not giving this in millimeters <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 13 inches across here. Okay, depth wise, we are six and three quarter. That would be a tight six and three quarter. Now height, uh, I'm gonna include the top of these bolts, but it's uh, right around, okay, uh, we're gonna say nine and a quarter. So there's your uh, size there. And of course, the other question would be, how heavy is it? Well, it's about 21 pounds. So that's not, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's not that bad. That's, I've had I've seen them a lot heavier in the old days. Uh, these new ones are getting a little bit lighter, and they're getting the price is just getting so good that it, they really are becoming something like you really need to think about. I know a lot of guys used to skip over with solar packages and go to like lead acid batteries or even gel in some cases, and they were always very disappointed. A lot of issues, and really, this is your answer: lithium iron phosphate. This is the battery you want for storing your electrical power from your solar panels. Yeah. I shouldn't have to even tell you that, right? <laughs> yeah. The other question that's gonna come up, oh, by the way, just show you this craziness here, but uh, the way they've designed this is you can get the strap down, fold it up, and undo the strap, 
and actually get this out of your way, you know, if you need to for some reason. Uh, if the strap is, you know, bothering you or whatever, you can remove the strap fairly easily on these little slots that are on the side here. Because some people uh, want the straps out of the way for some reason, but uh, I tell you the truth, I uh, usually I don't like the straps. Usually I, that is one of the things that bothers me. But these straps here, uh, because of the way they uh, go on and they're soft, they really don't create a problem when I'm doing my uh, cables. In fact, uh, let's put some cables on this and we're going to take it out to the barn and hook it up to the solar system package and it's not sunny out, so yeah. But we'll see how she does with charging up. Also, five year warranty. I guess I better, I should mention that. This is just big, big bang for the buck. Just, I think this is probably one of the best ones we've had in here. Between quality and price, yeah, bact bacteria has really looking, looks like they have a really good product. Wow. So we're connected to our solar system here, the small one that I have. I have a, a heavy duty one here, but also have a light duty one going on over here. And on the light duty, a uh, couple of reasons I'm doing it is actually just because it's available. So I've got this hooked up. I've got my battery cables on here uh, from my solar control package going back through. And I'm running about, I guess about 10 amps or so coming in right now. It's a little heavy, but I've also got a light and a couple of other uh, load issues going on. So we're charging this up right now. She's staying, uh, relatively, actually she's staying really cool. There's almost no heat. so. This thing is filling up really nicely, and once it's full, uh, we'll see the uh, charge coming in from the panels. That'll just drop right off because there's no place for that to go. Which you know, this is one of the reasons why you know you should buy multiple uh, batteries like this. If you have time and you can charge up, you can charge a lot of batteries. You can store a tremendous amount of power over time. Uh, and I'll just give you an example right now. I don't have. I have everything is filled, filled back up since the storm this past week. Uh, I ran everything down in three days. I charged everything back up. Uh, this is only, uh, this is now Monday, so we've had about four days to sort of like recharge everything back up. And in four days, I, everything is, is fully charged from the solar packages. I've got well over a thousand watts of power even right now, maybe, yeah, total, well, make that another 400, make that 1400 watts of power right now from solar that has no place to go. I have no place to store it, so I can manufacture that electricity, but I have no place for it to go. This is why you you know pick up multiples of something like a deep cycle like this, and the just between be, partly because of the price right now, it's like wow, you know. Oh, uh, before I forget, that 400 watts for a 100 amp hour battery system that is for southeastern Texas calculations. That does not include the North Pole. Yeah. Uh, Santa probably uses geothermal systems or something up there anyways, but yeah, it would be a very, the calculation would, and the math would definitely, you know, that would alter uh, how many panels you needed or how much wattage you needed to charge up a 100 amp hour battery. So yeah, if you're living further north, you might want to take a look at the math on it just to see exactly what you need. Uh, it probably would be higher, you know, further north. Meantime, the other thing was, uh, I will provide a link in the description below for this, but also, uh, I'm going to ask viewers, check back with us in you know a few days or a week or whatever, just in case a discount coupon or something shows up, because you might be able to even get a better deal than that on these batteries, which is already, a, a, like I said, for a deep cycle, what a terrific price. So we're charging up. We're showing, the system is showing 13 volts. When she hits about, uh, well, let's see, when she hits about 13, four, it's probably about finished. Initially, what I have is uh, a tremendous amount of extra power I could be storing right now. It's kind of a shame. I have no place to go. If I had more of these, I could continue to just keep adding and you know storing more and more power until uh, <clears throat> something comes through like a storm. Uh, I, won't, I don't want to use the H word, but yeah, yeah, we might be in for a few more this year. Yeah, that's the, that burl was a little on the early side. Ooh, yeah. We'll leave this out here for now. Let's go back to the shop for a minute. Yeah. Now there's one other thing that uh, these batteries can be used for uh, that I didn't mention because uh, they used to be really expensive and that might be the cheapest way to go would be for golf carts. If you're into that sort of thing, they would be great for, uh, you know, golf carts. Apparently they're recommended. So yeah, you know, definitely. 
Five-year warranty, I think I mentioned that, and uh, the cycle would definitely surpass. They, you know, they're saying, most of these batteries companies are saying 10 years or so roughly on these lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries, but the reality is with that deep cycle and the number of cycles that it was rated for, you could run up over, I bet you could probably get 20 years of lifespan out of those silly things. But just the price, the size, the capacity, Bacteria did not give me any cash or, uh, you know, give us some sponsorship or something on the show. Just so you know where we're at, okay. My excitement was the price of that deep cycle battery was like, you know what, we got to have that on here. And especially, just talking from last week, a lot of comments about Burl and the Hurricane, a lot of people are boosting their systems or making bigger solar systems because, like myself, uh, I quickly discovered I don't have enough. You know, like, I had barely enough to make it and at the end of three days it was getting sketchy yeah on the fourth day i think we probably would have uh we might have run aground a little bit on on some problems depending again on the sun because you can't depend on the weather and the weather really uh did not do what i anticipated <laughs> i always pictured after a big old hurricane you'd have this big sunny day calm you know no wind very warm and you know that's what you sort of thing would have we had storms for the next three freaking days <laughs> i was like no <laughs> this is not supposed to go this way <laughs> the hurricane went north i actually thought maybe it made a u-turn is it coming back you know what's going on it was just more of the weather patterns of going through with other storm systems that came through the area so it was like wow so that uh, doesn't help my solar situation <laughs> but uh, storing, yeah, definitely. So, hey, thank you for watching Copy Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. We've got more, and I might take a look at a live show or something about this because uh, a lot of people wrote in, and it's it's really some amazing stories and uh, hardships too, which I'm sorry to hear about. Uh, everything from losing well pumps and refrigerators. Uh, one fellow was, you know, told me in Florida they ate tried to eat all all they could that was spoil before it was shot because. They knew, you know, they were in trouble. <laughs> um, over and out.